Hey guys, welcome to another HVAC Reefer Guy video. Now, today is not going to be a sales video or a product video. It's kind of a quick little how to. It's going to be kind of small, maybe, and discussing some things that you may know or may not know. But I get asked this question quite a bit. Now, um, one of the things I get asked all the time is, um, do you uh, know about mufflers or dryers? And of course I know about mufflers or dryers. If you work on large tonnage systems, open drives, things like that, there's gonna be a large uh, muffler that's gonna be in place to take away the pulsations on the discharge line. Now, um, smaller package units will have mufflers installed. And quite honestly, what happens is, is that a lot of guys don't know what that muffler is and they think it's a dryer. And then before you know it, they do a compressor replacement they cut the muffler out, they put a dryer in its place, and, and then they have problems down the road. Um, it just doesn't happen that way. Now, one of the things that I wanna make sure that we talk about is uh, I'll be using some Parker Sporlin dryers are right here. Uh, Parker Sporlin is a fantastic company. You can check them out at parker.com. Uh, and Dennis and the guys and gals over at Parker, uh, Parker Sporlin have been a longtime partner of mine. Of course, I wanna thank Midwest Tools, the right snip since 1945. You can check them out at midwesttools.com. Uh, Supco, you can just kind of see right in there at Supco.com. Uh, Klein Tools right here, you can check them out, Klein HVAC Tools at KleinTools.com. And of course, I mean right here, big one, right here, and just a little bit is ASCO torches right there. And you can get them through TrueTechTools.com. But of course, um, Lance and Zeke over at SolderWeld, and you can check them out at www.SolderWeld.us. And in the description of this video, I'll put all the links and stuff in there and you can check them out. But again, I want to talk about mufflers and dryers. And so this old guy's going to put his reading glasses on. Oh, no, you can kind of see too here, uh, Refrigeration Technologies, Mike and John over at Refrigeration Technologies. And you can see them um, kind of right in here with blue, uh, big blue leak detector. And then they've got all sorts of stuff. They're all back here in the back and, and Viper products. And then this hat right here, this is a Living Sky Refrigeration. He's a small refrigeration shop up in Canada, a small mom and pop, super cool guy. And so I make a point to wear his hats whenever I can. So if you see that, this is just a shout out to Living Sky Refrigeration up in Canada. He's a super cool dad and he runs a small little company and I just like him and, and he's just a cool guy. So I like giving shout outs to Living Sky Refrigeration. So we talked about, we talked a little bit about a muffler. And this is the mufflers that I'm talking about. And this line right here would actually be able to, would have been brazed into the discharge line of a compressor. You'd have gone into the muffler and this one had gone out to the condenser. And so we're going to open this guy up so you can see. Now I cut this the other day, but I haven't opened him up because I wanted to keep him fresh and not break. But if you can see inside, I'll get it right to the camera. You can really see inside there that there's a screen and another screen. So this screen that's inside here, it takes away the pulsations on the refrigeration circuit. And so you can see the screens right there. So that discharge line would come down inside here and that discharge gas would mull around inside and this thing right here would take the expansions out of it and the pulsations out of the system and maybe a lot of vibrating elements out. And then out of here, right out of here would be a nice smooth high pressure vapor that would shoot over to the condenser. And so this is called the muffler. Now the muffler does not want to be confused with a dryer. And this is a liquid line dryer from Sporlin. Now granted it's a little bit bigger, but you can get these like in an 083 dryer, an 083S with sweats, and it'll be just about, honestly an 083, maybe an 053 would be just about the same size. But you want to make sure that you don't put a dryer in the place of a muffler, and here's why. So I did a cutaway. And so here's this dryer. You can see inside here is the top, and then there's a screen right here, a screen. Actually, this is the inside coming in, and here's the desiccant, and then we'll look at the desiccant in a minute. But inside this guy is a piece of fiberglass, like an exit filter, like a pre-filter, and then on the inside is this brass screen. So you've got a brass screen, not brass, brass, this, you've got the dryer core, right? And then you've got another screen that sits on top, the screen. And so when it's filtering refrigerant, this is going to pick up the big stuff. 
and then the dryer is going to do its job picking up all the crap moisture things like that and then you'll have another filter and then right before it leaves the dryer it's going to pre-filter or not pre-filter it's going to filter out through a very small brass screen so if you put this and you think that this is a, a dryer right and you've got this in place and these cut lines are because i use the sawzall but if you put a dryer in where you think there's a muffler this guy will break apart and filter dryers they're just basically look at that they're they're silica sand it's very minute sand but it will actually break apart and go out into your air conditioning system and plug up your txvs and it'll plug up this screen right here and all of a sudden you've got a temperature drop or you'll look at a dryer that's plugged up and the temp and the dryer's got like a three or four maybe a 10 degree drop in some cases, I've seen filter dryers that have frost on them. Liquid comes in and frost is leaving because it's actually acting as a TXV because it's so plugged. So you want to make sure that you really look to see what you're putting in. And you want to make sure that you're taking out a muffler. And again, here's your muffler. You can see the insides. You're taking out this muffler and you're putting another muffler in its place and you're not putting in a filter dryer, even though they look similar. Now I also, just for the heck of it, I have another dryer cut in half. This is a pancake dryer. Uh, Parker actually calls this a, uh, looks like it's a C146S, uh, T-T-H-H. Uh, these are pancake dryers. I was looking over at my Sporland guide, but you can look inside here and I'll open this guy up and you can see inside here you've got a washer, you've got a ring, you've got a screen that's inside here just like before, and then you've got this desiccant and this desiccant. And so what this is, you can see how black it is, this was on a burnout. And so we'll put these pancake dryers on a burnout. And the reason we put those pancake dryers in, I mean, obviously you can look at them, they look like a pancake. But you've got pressure taps on before and after, and you can actually check the pressure differential to when you have to decide to pull it out. And so it's really important that you look at these. So if you do a compressor replacement and you have a high acid besides doing acid away, you may want to run a system with a pancake dryer in it, do a pressure differential on it, maybe two or three days later or a day later, and then come back three or four days and then eventually take this out because you don't want to leave this in because it'll create a pressure drop and create a superheat issue and a cooling issue. And so that is huge. So again, you know, we're back to this guy, which is the muffler. Really make sure you know what's in your system. Like I said, right here would have been a scroll. Here would have been your discharge line coming into the top. This guy would have gone out to the liquid line. And this is a muffler, not a dryer. And you look on the inside again, put it right there to the camera. And that would have been a muffler, not a dryer. And this is the dryer, two different things. So make sure you know what you're replacing. When you cut into this guy or you're replacing a compressor, make sure that you know that it is a muffler, not a dryer. And if you're unsure, I mean, honestly, get a hold of the manufacturer's rep uh, and they'll tell you or the manufacturer of the unit or go online and make sure because I have never seen a dryer where there's a muffler. I've never seen because they just cannot take the pulsations. And so in this case, this is a muffler. So this is just a quick little how to video, a little training. I don't do much training videos. I like to do product video. But I really wanted to get that out there. And of course, Parker Sporland, um, great people, SEPCO up here on top, right here, ASCO, uh, Solderwell, www.solderwell.com, and .us, and Klein, and Midwest Snips. And way back here in the back, right there, is Refrigeration Technologies, and of course, Living Sky. And so work safe, be safe, be good humans. If you need to get a hold of me, you can do so through uh, Gmail at HVAC. Uh, reefer guy h-v-a-c-r-e-f-e-r -E -E guy at gmail.com or you can leave comments i promise i answer every single one and if you have any questions about it uh you know let me know and if you don't have any questions but you want to look at the product links i'll make sure i put everything in the description as always work safe be safe be good humans thank you so much until next time we'll see you soon